Hey, uh, I just wanted to remind you guys how to do foil or box method. You guys have been kind of coming in going, oh, I can't remember how to do that. So foil, it stands for first, outside, inside, last. And so if you do the first, I just draw little arrows to the first. That would be X cubed. That's your F. The O, outside. Negative 2x, i inside, plus 3x squared, you're just multiplying. And last, negative 6. Now you put them in order, descending uh, exponent, so it would be x cubed, minus 2x, plus 3x squared. Oh, sorry. Hello. Plus... 3x squared minus 2x minus 6. Okay, so you could foil it that way. I like um, when I do that, just thinking about Stewie's little picture, you know, um, family guy. Anyway, other people do other shapes with it, but it's always a good check. That's why I recommend that you draw the arrows. Now, if you want to do box, or if you're not sure, watch the box and see if you like it better. Think back to when you were like in fourth or such grade when you learned your multiplication tables and you could look them up and you would just line them up on uh, your fingers up and look and say okay like 6 and 8 equals 48 that's all you're doing is you're taking this times this and putting it in here so that would be x cubed negative 2x uh, 3 times x squared, 3x squared, and 3 times negative 2, negative 6. So you just line up where they line up at. Now we take the, usually it's always this upper box here, x cubed. Then we look at these two. If they're like terms, you can combine them. These don't happen to be. If they are, they're usually the diagonals. So we get plus 3x squared minus 2x and minus 6. The only thing that I've seen students do with this technique is sometimes they forget to put the negatives up there. Make sure to be careful of that. And on this one, sometimes they don't draw the arrows, so they forget one part. So make sure you do that. Oh, that's the end of that one. Thank you.